All right, how's it going, guys? It's Mr. Dirt Loving coming at you uh, from uh, Glendale here. Uh, if you guys are wondering why this looks familiar, it's because uh, it's a car park I've been to before on a previous video. But um, yeah, I'm just kind of riding around on the DR200 right now. Um, it's three, three, three. 3.20 I think, 3.20 in the morning right now. Couldn't sleep so I decided I'd make a video uh, just letting you know what's been going on with me and why haven't I been putting up uh, the rest of the Mexico trip videos. Um, in all honesty I've just been real busy. Uh, I haven't really had time to just sit down on the computer and uh, pump out those videos. Um, but um, I'll, I'll, get on, I'll, get, I'll get to it here pretty soon. Like I said, I've just been real busy. Um, I wanted to let you guys know that I do got a new mic set up. Hopefully, this does sound a lot better. You don't hear as much uh, wind crackling and and whatnot. It's the um, damn. I already forgot. Oh, Audio Technica, the Audio Technica mic. I know a couple of vloggers that use it, and I uh, wanted to try it out. I actually, this is my second attempt on trying to do a vlog. Because uh, the one thing I do not like about this mic is you do need a switch on a, uh, a switch to let it know to turn on, which is just one more thing to worry about. So yeah, I go. I did a whole video and uh, it didn't even turn out. So here I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the DR200 real quick. Let me just turn down my music all the way because it's kind of conflicting with my talking here but uh yeah here it is it's the dr200 it's a 2007 um i know a couple vloggers that have this bike um it's it's fun i mean it's not powerful it's not gonna scare you or anything if you're a new rider it's really easy to get familiar with riding if you're a new rider um i got this a couple years back had a sport bike sport bike back then with a, a, a strictly dirt bike um obviously motorcycle and uh wanted to go to the dual sport um what do you call it way so went to the dealership picked it up and uh, ever since then i haven't looked back um I, I saw this for real cheap so i got it but uh what i really wanted was what i got now is a dr650 uh back then i just couldn't finance it and blah 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 so on and so forth that's for another day um but yeah it's not a bad bike um it's got about fifteen thousand miles on it N no mods at all whatsoever um except for the handlebars i guess but that's not really that big of a deal they're not any like like rentals or pro taper bars it's just some cheap uh bars that i bought at cycle gear um but yeah i mean it's it's a fun bike if you like trail riding and doing all that sort of um, off-roading kind of stuff and then go go and drive on the road afterwards this is the bike for you so anyways that's not the only reason I was making this video tonight um, I also wanted to do a quick a quick shout out to um, Oklahoma KLR a uh, couple videos back he did a, a review on uh, something that his father-in-law uh, purchased for his KLR, which was a solo box uh, panniers, and um, yeah, if it wasn't for him showing me those boxes, I would never have found Eric, which is the guy that actually makes them. Uh, he's based out of Washington. I'll go ahead and leave some information on the description below about all his stuff if you want to take a look at his uh, panniers, but um, yeah, I went ahead and ordered me a pair, and uh, right now I'm kind of just waiting on the um, just waiting on them to come in the mail. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, shoot over another, um, a link down on the description below on Oklahoma KLR's website, or channel, should I say, and also the the video that he actually does the review uh, over them. Uh, they look they look real good. I mean, I, I, talked, to, I talked to Eric over the phone, a uh, real cool guy. Um, he actually recently did a, a trip down here on his, on his KLR uh, to meet his parents or whatnot so he's he's like yeah i know i know exactly where where everything is at because i was talking to him about how i i do a lot of uh long distance riding and um i'm all around arizona and stuff and he's like oh yeah you know i know that place and 
whatnot. But uh, anyways, yeah, so I want to give a, a big shout out to Oklahoma KLR. And uh, just letting you know, man, that I really appreciate that video review you did, man. Because if it wasn't for you, I would never even have uh, known about that guy's uh, panniers. So thanks, man. Big thumbs up. Uh, love your videos. Keep them coming. And uh, I, I'm always looking forward to your next review on the next um, next gear or next thing that you have on uh, your your YouTube channel. Like I think the last review that I saw was your your dirt bike helmet or dirt bike helmet your uh dirt bike gloves the climb um adventure or the car gloves or something like that those look real good i might actually end up looking into buying some of those too because i don't know my uh my alpine star gloves that i have as of right now they're starting to wear and tear and i'm gonna need me some new gloves and i don't really want to keep using these uh fox dirt paws or whatnot so thanks man anyways yeah thanks for all the for the great videos man keep them up but uh, anyways, guys, I just want to let you guys know, uh, just recap, I will be putting the rest of my motorcycle trip over to Mexico up soon, and I will be doing another trip soon. Uh, not really sure exactly where I want to go yet. I do know I'm going to go, uh, I will be going up north uh, somewhere, maybe uh, Flagstaff, or I don't know. We'll see where I decide I'm going, but it won't be down here, that's for sure. Uh, I can't take the, the weather down here anymore. It's getting freaking ridiculous <laughs> um we're ranging from like 100 to 110 uh fahrenheit with like 20 or 10 percent humidity which is weird for us because we're not we don't really we're known for our dry heat uh but li lately since we've been getting the monsoons it's been real humid so it's been pretty miserable down here we're all used to the dry heat so all right guys i'm rambling on you guys have a great night or should i say good morning and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right. Peace out, guys.